Hey, what's up guys? It's Rush with more digital media and live casting. Guess what guys? I am sitting right now in the total body training gym, um, facility right now. As you can hear, you're gonna hear some background news in this video, but I'm gonna tell you why. Because we, um, my buddy Aldo Nielsen Clementino is here today to talk to us about what he's got going on. I'm really excited about, um, um, we call him AC in the fitness world. But I'm really excited about him because he's got some exciting things developing and he's here to tell us a little bit about that. AC, why don't you introduce yourself to the people that are watching this video right now? Hi, Rush. Thanks for having us today, brother. I appreciate you, man. All Thank right. you. So, uh, as most people already know, my name is Adenilson Clementino. I say AC because it's much easier to remember and to pronunciate and uh, make it some awkward conversation, try to spell it out my name anyway. So, a little bit about myself. My name is Adenilson Clementino. I'm 36 years old. I'm married, two kids. Dilara is my older daughter. Ali is my young one. Fatima is my beautiful wife. And uh, I was born in Aracatuba, Sao Paulo. I've been here for now like 11 years now. I come on a full scholarship to play basketball. I, will, I was recruited by Trinity Valley Community College in... Athens, Texas. After that, I played there for two years. It was a great time. I had a really good team there. Then I got a recruit to play in Great View and M University. I played there for two years. Wow, man, I didn't know that. That's yeah. cool. Well, but I figured out really quick I was not that great to make pros, so I had to do something else. Find a real job. Yeah. So I started applying for work, for jobs and stuff. I started working for 24 Fitness. I did it for about three months. Then I went to Lubbock Christian University and a, and a graduate assistant basketball scholarship. So I, I did a year and a half for my grad degree there in uh, education administration. After that, I was training on the side. For some reason, I found a lot of passion in coaching people and making them a better individual, changing people's life and the habits. Then I went full time on personal training. I did that for five years until I come to Dallas. Then I got a job at Lifetime, which was my last, was the last company I worked for until I started to be to gym. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so so talk. To, okay, I know I, I know you're a personal friend of mine, so I know I know your ins and outs and everything. And you know you're you're starting out in a new community, um, to, um, starting out a business in a in a different community, and you're trying to set something up really awesome. So I want I, I know you so, but I'm gonna mention I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions now. I know that you're known for being a uh, you know mixed martial artist <laughs> and. Yeah. and and you know, being from Brazil, talk to me a little bit about how you were you you were in you you went from um, from I know you were in jiu-jitsu in Brazil. Tell me a little bit about your experience in, in jiu-jitsu in Brazil, and then how it translated into to America. Okay, definitely. So while I was in Lubbock, Texas, uh, you know, I have a competitive nature. Since I was a little boy, you know, I was always into sport competition. So after I got out of college. I had nothing to look for, so I was going to work out, but was nothing at the end of the week to test it out, what kind of physical shape I was. Anyway, so I was driving down in Lubbock on uh, Fifth Avenue, then I saw this huge school, it was like a BJJ school. The instructor name at that time was Tony Bonello. He's a badass, man. He fights MMA professionally. He's a black belt, third degree black belt in Jiu-Jitsu. So anyway, so I went there and, uh, you know, me being a big guy, so I'm powerful, you know. So I walk in there and I told the guy I want to try it out a little bit. So this little guy, this little Hispanic guy named Zay, he almost took my arm out. I was like, hey, what's wrong with me? I know I'm strong. I'm <laughs> yeah. stronger than this guy. So what is the deal with this? So that what make me get into BJJ. I kept coming. I kept coming. I tried to get it better. Once I put a the skills with the physical talent that I have, I was like, man, I need to really go to the next step now. Then I took my first pro fight like three months afterwards. Where'd you take it at? I was in Lubbock, so for King of the Cage. Okay. I fought against this King guy. King of the Cage, is that right? King of the Cage, yeah. Wow. So Tony got me the fight. He's like, I don't think you should fight, you know? You just start practicing BJJ, whatever. You need to leave, have a little bit more experience. So I was like, man, I got this. So I went there, <laughs> I got a, uh, I won by knockout in the second round, Dang. so it was a good experience. So I got a, you know, my, my, my head was big, so I kept 
just trained a little bit, working out. Then I got my second fight. I fought this guy from the Great Jackson uh, gym. Okay. That's a popular gym, man. Oh, that's yeah. like, that's, they, who do they train in, at, at uh, the Greg Jackson? It's Jack Wink, right? J Jack Wink, yeah. yeah. There's like uh, John Jones, uh, at that time was Travis Brown, uh, a lot of good fighters. Hashad Evans was there at that time or so. So this guy named Cody, a great fighter, I went there and I was like, okay, I think I can. I just look at it, I thought, uh, no, it was a fight. Yeah. No, there was no skill involved, just being a man, I could go there and beat this guy. Anyway, he surprised me, and he finished me on the second round. He won by TKO, with that was my wake-up call. So I was like, okay, he's more into MMA than just be strong and big and look intimidated. So I contact Alistair Overeem. Everybody know a K-1 fighter, one of the best heavyweight in the world. Yeah, you probably know who yeah I do know about. who he is. He's a, bad, he's a badass. So I sent him an email <laughs> through Facebook, surprisingly. This guy replied to me. I thought he was kidding. He invited me to go to Miami. He trained with the Black Zillions. I wow. did that right before he had to fight Bigfoot. I've been friends with Alistair so, Vereen. Since so then. before, okay, before before you go further, so the audience knows who who talk, talk to me like who are the Black Zillions? I mean, talk to me like who they are in MMA world in the mixed martial arts. Well, tell me, tell me what you know. Okay, Black Zillion, four or five years ago was just like. Uh, the Miami Heat, when, John, uh, when uh, LeBron James in, had a Dwayne Wade and uh, okay, what is the post player name for uh, Dwayne Wade and LeBron James? Uh, oh, uh, Chris Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh. So they had the, the big old. Oh, so they had the there. winning team. Yeah, they, they have the winning team. Okay, the best talent at one place. So okay. this is how Black Zillion start. Hashad Evans invited all these great fathers, Victor Belford, Chago Silva. Man, monsters. You're talking about you being in the gym yeah. and that things lying there. This is what it was. If you're an MMA enthusiast or you're, you're a practitioner, you know who the Black Zillions are. But for those that are not familiar with, with the Black Zillions or are not in tune with MMA as much, they're like one of the elite teams in, in, in MMA. And so tell, go back to what you were saying. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but what, tell, tell me about how they invited you. What, what, like, you know, they invited you and then what happened? So Alistair was in need of a, have a big weight so he can train for his fight, you know? So I, uh, I emailed him, like I said, then he replied to me. I thought it was a bogus e email response. I thought it was a fake profile. I was like, oh, are you really Alistair, you know? Then he replied to me. He sent me a plane ticket. <laughs> wow. I flew to Miami, you know, Delray, Florida. We trained for like six months. I ended up moving to Florida. I, I bring my whole family there. I brought my whole family there. Then I got a couple fights under the Black Zillions, which I knocked the guy out like in a minute. I mean, I, I was a regular guy, uh -huh. just being physically gift to have a Good athleticism now paired up with some good skills. So I went there, I trained with those guys, I learned a ton. I was humble a lot because those are real fighters. You don't go there, you think you're gonna get it by just by being tough. You need to be tough and they have some great skills which I learned under the Black Zillions. That's awesome. Okay, so you fast forward to now, like you're, okay, so you're, you, done, you had your training with MMA and then, and, and then after MMA, what happened? Like, what, what, did, what were you doing like to, I mean, that wasn't your, your full-time job, was it? Yeah. Well, for, five, for three and a half years, that was my full-time job. Okay, okay, okay. I was getting fights every other month, you know, getting a paycheck here, a paycheck there through fighting. Then on the side, I started training people again. Then when my second daughter came, I really had to figure out how I could support my family better, you know? Yeah. Give them a better, secure future. Yeah, let me speak this up. Uh-huh. So, this one, I, I, we decided to move back to, to Dallas. Then I started working, you know, uh, full-time, a lifetime. Then training, fighting when I could train. But this one, I started really getting into training. It built my community, try to get in touch with people that need more of a coaching in, in, in personal training here. Wow. Okay, so now, okay, so people know, like, when you went into training, what, what do you need to, um, what kind of uh, certifications do you have as a, as a personal trainer? And, uh, you know, we know, we know you have the, uh, 
the MMA background. What you 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 have Brazilian jiu jitsu uh, uh, pedigree, don't you? Yes, what? I'm a purple belt in jiu jitsu. I should okay. be a brown belt by now, but I was focused too much on MMA. Yeah, I kind of put the gear to the side a little bit. But now I'm getting my gear back on it, and I will try to get my black belt soon. It's one of those things that either it's, you know, you go MMA or Jiu-Jitsu. It's kind of, you have to kind of find a balance between the two, and it's really tough. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really hard because yeah. fighting at the level where I'm fighting right now, I'm a professional. But we're not getting paid as much as uh, the UFC fighters. Yeah. You know? So this is the word that I was trying to break into it. Right. You know? So I had to get a job. Yeah. So when it comes back to your questions about my certifications, I have an ACE personal training, I have a Precision Nutrition, which is the number one uh, nutrition certification in the country. Besides, you have a degree in, in nutrition. That is the, sec is the second highest one you can have. Okay. Then I have other uh, certifications that are kind of led to expire. I don't see the value in it. But that's my number two certification. That okay, I have. so there. Uh, so, so can you repeat those again? ACE. Okay, so ACE certification. That's a, what does that stand for? That's a the academy, academy certification of uh, training, I believe. Okay, ACE. Is, okay, yeah. And then uh, what's the what's the other ones? Uh, precision nutrition two. Pre precision nutrition. Okay. One and two. One and two. So the one when we work with the clients' habits is the second one. We can really try to go there. You work the kinks when someone is struggling to break those bad habits, you want to give them strategies, real life coaching on how to get out of those rat trap on eating bad and not exercising, try to find the excuses that work, no, I work too many hours, well, I have too many kids, I got to take my kids here and there. So our goal is to show them real strategies to them to become more fit and more active again. Okay. so. So do you you can design a meal plan for people? Yes. Yeah. I can. Okay. okay. And then, and that and then you incorporate exercise with that with that meal plan as well. Changing habits. Changing habits. Yeah. Changing habits. Okay. So with precision nutrition, our number one goal is not to just write out a nutrition plan to someone. Yeah. Like a menu, because you don't learn nothing from there. Our main thing is to talk to the individual, ask them question see where the roadblocks or it give the solutions to fix the problem. Gotcha. It's just like a AA meeting for someone that's alcoholic. Yeah. You're not just taking the bottle away from the hands, you give them life, life. coaching on how life, to yeah, cope with, with those struggles they are having. Gotcha, gotcha. So like, it, like if, you have, if you have a sugar fixation, you might want to replace it with an app, like a, some yeah, kind of, something more something, healthier, some more healthier, you know, okay, a give them alternatives when at work they have been cravings what they can suppress that the, the, the craving what alternatives they can have so they, we, we give you guys little two skills to put in your toolbox okay. for to be successful in, in nutrition okay in so okay so so okay so fast forward you you you're your personal trainer you you have the background you have the you have the experience with you know conditioning in MMA and, and Jiu Jitsu and, and um, uh, nutrition and exercise. So what made you, what made you decide to, find, to say, you know what, I'm gonna open up, I wanna, I, I want to, I wanna facilitate an experience of my own with clients. What made you decide to, to start a new gym? So the major thing is about ethic. My ethic did not match up with the ethic in the corporate. I'm not a salesperson. Yeah. I can't, lie to someone that I cannot promise you to someone I'm gonna do something, then you know what? I'm I, not able to deliver. You know what? I appreciate that because I think when you when when you know when you come from the background you come come in, you're you know, you MMA fighter, Brazilian fighter, there's a lot of I, I can see a lot of like organic like organic creation from that, you know, like it's not like, you know, you wear a uniform in the, in the, in the cage, you know, like you go walk in there and you, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, you have fake. a name tag, you yeah, know, where you you're, fake it. right. And, and your gi doesn't have a name tag on it. You know, it's like you're, you're sweating, you're, you're investing in the same kind of time and effort that the person you're grappling with or, or fighting with in the cage or practicing with. So you have this organic feel to you. I've always known you for a long time. I've known you for a while and you have this organic, like, um, 
uh, organic feel to you, which makes it super special. So, you know, going back to what you're saying about like you didn't fit in. So your, your personality fits a certain structure where you like the, you like to get down and dirty. Is that right? Yeah. I want to, I want to help people. You know, I want to make sure they get what they are paying for. I want to reward them every month for the hard work they put it in. Okay. So that's the main thing is reward people for the effort. Something that is not happening at fitness right now. All those big old corporate gyms does, pack it up a whole bunch of people, they live there in there, there's no guidance, no assistant, there's no one, hey Rush, why did you not come to the gym last week? Yeah. Come on man, I want you to be back here. And another thing on those programs I wanna have, I want every member to be a coach. Okay. So for say, if you know how to do a better deadlift than I do, I, 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 you know how to do a better squat than I do. I want you, after you finish your set, take 30 seconds. Go to the person at the next squat rack, say, hey, hey, Rush, or hey, Marie, hey, whoever. Yeah. This is how you're supposed to do this. Okay. Come on, let's get on it. Okay. So now this person that More just personalized. get a coach, yeah. yeah, three months from now, she's going to be a professional. Okay. She's going to be proficient on whatever exercise that she's doing. I will encourage this person to do the same thing to the next member that does not know as much as this person does. Okay, so so you want to per, you're gonna have more personalization, which is really cool. What kind of equipment are you gonna have? What like I'm excited, you know, I'm looking at this place right now. <laughs> right now, you know what? This place right now, we wouldn't even show we, we could show it to you, but you know, I'm I, like I look at it now and I when you watch things transform, it's like amazing when you go like, oh my god, remember when it was this? And 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 so for me, I'm like, you know, I wonder what he's going to have. It's so exciting because I know you, you know, I know your background. I know how you're going to support, you're going to support you, you, all your, your sweat equity in, in yourself and how you became a physical phenomenon. Like, what's, what's your, well, you have a nickname, right? It's the specimen, right? Specimen. Okay. You became a physical specimen. And, <laughs> and, and for me, it's like, I wonder what he's going to have in here. So tell me, tell, tell, the, tell the viewers what you're going to have in here. All right, so I'm going to answer this specimen question because okay. people put it there with me all the time. <laughs> I'm not a specimen just because genetic. Yeah. There's a lot of hard work involving. Yeah. You know, so. I believe you. <laughs> well, we can just look Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal. Those guys are specimen, right? Yeah. yeah. What happened to their physique now? Yeah. They average people because yeah. they change their habits. Yeah. But anyway, so the equipment that we're going to have here, we're going to have a jujitsu mat. It's going to have about a thousand square foot of a jiu-jitsu mat. We're gonna have about 16 heavy bags so people can come do their strikings also. When it comes to the weight lifting part, we're gonna have a full equipped gym. We're gonna have about eight different squat racks, three Smith machines. We're gonna have uh, hack squats. We're gonna have Jesus. Wow. eight bench presses. We're gonna have a hamstring machine. We're gonna have lat pull downs. We have over 3,000 pounds of plates because all these squat racks will require plates. So we have a, a whole bunch of 45 plates in here. We're gonna have dumbbells. We have a kettlebell sets from five kilos to 110 kilos. Wow. So we're gonna have a full equipped gym. That's very And the cool. most important part is not about the equipment. I wanted the people that come here to buy into what we're trying to do is have a community of people they are fully into changing their lifestyle you help the next human being do the exact same thing you know what i like the sound of that man it's very uh i, I say it's very heart 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 oriented you know the thing is too is and you mentioned this stuff you know along your you know everything you're talking about corporate gyms and stuff like that the one one of the biggest um fallacies that I see when I go into a gym is, is the, there's a lack of personalization. Yes. I, I, in fact, I would say like in, in my career in fitness and, you know, I was a strength trainer too and, and all that stuff. And, and I can say the one thing, one thing I can say true is that a lot of people, a lot of people don't, uh, like a lot of the trainers, they don't say, hey man, you're doing great, man. You're making some gains. Like people, they're not training, like just ordinary people that are going, that are showing up. Like, I don't hear trainers go, you know what, like, just go up to some random person, man, say, dude, you know what, man, you're, I see you every day, you're working hard. Yeah, and they definitely. really affirm someone else's um, uh, uh, beliefs in themselves to show up and, 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 and invest in themselves to, you know, in fitness and wellness. And so I, I'm, I really uh, applaud you for wanting to get personalized with your clients. And, and I think that's a, that's a fresh approach. And I think you got something working here, man. So another thing about what the gym is going to be about, right? Yeah. So 
The last thing I want to do is for this gym that we are building to be just like any LA Fitness, 24-hour fitness, uh, Apex, Lifetime, I don't care. I'm, this is not about you come here, you're just going to be wandering around the gym. Six months from now, you're going to be the exact same place when you start. So what I want to do is every time you come to the gym, you're going to come in a program. It can be a barbell toning or barbell strength. Okay. Or you can come to our Zumba classes, or you can come to the Jiu-Jitsu class, a striking class. Whatever program that you're going to be, you're going to be with a professional. That We're going to try to hire the best people on that class that you're going to try to come and get it. If the only thing, it's not going to be you. We're going to have one-on-one -on -one programs, yeah. but it's going to be you and the trainer. Okay. Every time you come to the gym, you're going to come. You don't have to worry about what you're going to do in the gym anymore. You're gonna come for a hundred dollars a month. You'll be able to learn from a professional. Very cool. You'll be here, you're gonna be time efficient. You come here, you're gonna do your warm up, you're gonna go through your workout, then you're gonna go home. We're gonna send you the program in case you wanna do the next day by yourself. So will you be having, you also, you're incorporating, uh, are you, you'll be incorporating, um, okay, the, the weights and stuff, but you're gonna have MMA or any kind yes, of, any yes. jujitsu? What, what? We're gonna have a full jujitsu program with, I have my instructor, uh, Jay, that just coming in, he's mm -hmm. my instructor, uh, my oh, jujitsu guy. Okay. So I would like him to speak more about the jujitsu yeah, program. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. Like yeah, a, we can get him a little yeah. bit. The, his wife will be teaching the kids program. He's gonna be from six to 14 years old. Uh, for the jiu-jitsu program, then we're gonna have a, a competitive class, which is gonna be for people that wanna go out there and compete on jiu-jitsu uh, competition, or for someone that wanna actually step up, yeah. you get in the cage, you fight somebody, see where the skills level at, you know? <laughs> yes, I know. Or if you're just uh, the average guy, you know, that's 45, 50 years old, that just wanna learn the skills yeah. in case you need it, Someone jump you in the street, you need to defend yourself. Yeah. You'll be able to like do me. it. Like <laughs> me. I'm just kidding. Not get hurt. You're going to yeah. come, learn these skills, you go home. Right. There's no, there's no much aggression there, just full knowledge. Very so, cool. Maybe three months from now, you, like myself, you're competitive or so. You're like, man, I need to see where I'm at right now. You sign up for jujitsu competition. Yeah. Go there to see how you're doing. Okay, you know? so, okay so that's awesome, dude. Like to incorporate, you know, that, that's unique in itself, having a full, uh, full gym. Plus, um, MM, you know, MMA, jiu-jitsu classes. Yes. I think that's very unique. I don't know of any place around here. Personally, I don't know of any place around here that has that in this, in this, in the, the North Texas region. What I'm talking about is Plano, McKinney, Frisco area. I don't know of any gym that's like that right now, but I could, you know, I'm not, you know. Yeah, so to tap that off a little bit. So like, oh my God, just... AC is behind all this, right? right? No, it's not. I have a huge names behind us. Like our head coach, which is Alex Martini, uh, mixed martial arts, he has a gym down in Dallas. We're going to be better under him. We're going to be his McKinney affiliate school. Okay. He's, if you Google okay. his name, he's huge in jiu-jitsu. Right now, he's in Miami competing okay. on some jiu-jitsu competition out there. Okay. I think it's the words right now. Wow, then, that's or even strike, better. Yeah, or striking program. Oh yeah, so he will come here twice a year to do a seminar himself, who come teach our students from his perspective on jiu-jitsu skills, real comp competition jiu-jitsu skills. The striking part, the MMA part, or kickboxing part, we're gonna be affiliated with the Alistair Overeem, you know, Hopefully now, next week, I'm traveling to Albuquerque. I'm going to help him out on his camp for his next fight. Very cool. Hopefully, I can talk to John Jones, bring those guys over here, Donald Cerrone, all those real UFC fighters yeah. will be coming to our gym and give us seminars. Very cool. You know what? I think that's really awesome. And that, that's one of those things that when you have a pedigree, you, you, know, you have a professional respect and, and, mm -hmm. and professional respect and um, you know, you just have a, pres a professional relationship with fighters and they have a willingness to come support you, you know? Definitely. Not everybody, you know, that's the great thing about more is more is about, tr is about actually um, su um, uh, supporting people that we believe in. And, and, and you're one of those guys that you've been long, long standing friend of mine. So it's, it really, more is really behind, tries to get behind people first and their business second. And, 
and I can see that you have you have a professional respect from from your peers in in the MMA world, in the Jiu Jitsu world, and and you and and the fitness world too, for sure. Definitely. And guys, I'm gonna tell you, you know, we're here again. We're here at at Total Body Training, and I'm here with with AC, and and he's a good friend of mine. And I got to tell you, he's got something really positive working. Um, and he's got a he's got a jujitsu coach right here. We're gonna try to squeeze in right over here. You, you want to come on over here? What's his name again? Jay. Jay, come on, Jay. I know this is a surprise. Have a seat, man. <laughs> Have a seat right here. Let me uh, walk around. Let's go, Jay. Man, we got it all going in here. Yeah. Don't get a shy, okay. man. Don't oh, get I'm a not shy. shy. I'm not shy. All right, Jay. Uh, we're you know again we're we're out here at, at, at Total Body uh, Body Training. And Jay, tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing here oh, um, here at the, you know, yeah, at the gym. Yeah, well, I'm excited about the opportunity. Uh, I'm affiliated with Alex Martin Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, down in Dallas, and we uh, through AC decided to uh, collaborate and to bring uh, a branch of AMBJJ oh. out here to the uh, McKinney Allen area. So we're going to offer a comprehensive Jiu Jitsu program for uh, teens children and adults and focus on not just the self-defense but also competition in the jiu-jitsu competition world and uh, and give some some of the jiu-jitsu practitioners out here in this area an opportunity to focus and have a school that that's uh, dedicated to competition as well as the general practitioners and hobbyists of jiu-jitsu too it's a place for everybody so very cool and tell uh um ac was saying something about your wife's going to be working here too yep so my wife is a two-time world champion oh. uh no gi and gi oh. and uh she's going to be here uh, helping with the kids class and myself with the adults class um again focusing on self-defense and women's brazilian jiu-jitsu and how that um, relates for self-defense and competition too from a female's perspective and she's a well-known uh, jiu-jitsu practitioner around town and, and growing so so what is your belt now what is your ranking uh, i'm a brown belt uh, i've been training for 12 years uh, in jiu-jitsu and um you know just excited to get started you, you guys have a unique uh you guys have what it calls an intrinsic uh very intrinsic value that you're going to be bringing that most gyms will not don't have. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you go. You don't have like a, you you have like tentacles everywhere that you can pull from for energy and and and, and, and uh, I call it the warrior support, right? Like you you know it's like dude, I I got this guy coming in, I got this guy coming in, I got my belt, you know, I got my pedigree, you know. Yep. So I think that's really awesome, man. You guys got you're going to create a synergy here. And uh, like I was telling first uh, in the beginning about the people that you're gonna try to relate yourself with, you know, Alistair, John Jones, all those guys, they're big in the UFC. And uh, another thing we try to do, especially myself, as I told you before, you know, I'm a family guy, and this guy, he's a family guy too. So he loving his kids, that's why I try to bring good people. So whoever that comes through this door, will be taken care of, it's not gonna be able to, First thing, like some people, they go to a jiu-jitsu school somewhere, they're gonna go against some monster that be doing jiu-jitsu like himself for over 10 years. They end up getting the, his arm broke when next day he gotta go to work. Under a guy like him, he's very technical, very experienced. He'll be able to coach you. Uh, what would be the word like, uh, not babysit the person, but... Well, every, everybody in, in jiu-jitsu, um, and I think mm -hmm. this is where some schools fail, is it is, it is, for the individual, just like when you train someone in conditioning, right? Um, not all not all techniques, not all philosophies work for that specific person. But what a good coach does, and I feel Alex Martins does this as well, and I, I've, I've been able to get this from him, is, is everybody is a little bit different, and everybody has different goals. Whether they want to compete, or they want to self-defense, or they're getting bullied at middle school, or they're a six-year-old, and maybe soccer doesn't appeal to them, and they like the physicality of jiu-jitsu, yeah. you know? Maybe, that's what some kids need for confidence. And maybe it's too that's gentle what, in the same note. Sure, sure. Yeah. And maybe that's what some women need too. And, and females Definitely. that come in, they, they have an actual proven practical self-defense, which we know works through uh, outlets like the UFC and mixed martial arts. We, we've discovered that jiu-jitsu is a true self-defense martial art uh, that, that creates self-confidence in, in kids, women, and adults. And it also gives you know, people an outlet too. They don't have to be competitors. They don't have to be MMA fighters. But they can come here and for a night and for an hour, they can separate themselves from everything. And, and they can bring their families in too. 
They can bring their kids. They can the, the the significant other can come train with AC. Why would you do jujitsu? It doesn't matter. Everybody's welcome here, and I think that's important. That's so cool, guys. You guys have something really positive working. You can't just walk in and, and, and expect these things, you know, but here you can expect those things, which is really, really unique, you know. When you think about fitness centers, you walk in, you say, Where show me I, I can help my I can work I can uh I can show myself around, thank you very much, you know? And that's the way, I, that's my approach at least. I don't need to know where the treadmills are, I can see them, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? But here, they can teach you something. They can, you can learn something. You, you know, they say, they say in, 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 in jiu-jitsu and every kind of, any kind of physical sport, it's like, I want you to own what you know. Like, I want you to own what you know. And here, when you come into to TBT, total body training. All right, guys, sorry about that, man. We got disconnected. Listen, um, we're back. And um, we're excited. We just met Jay. He's, he's uh, going to be the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu coach, which is freaking awesome. And awesome guy. Awesome guy. Great family values. Great family. I can't wait to meet him. Him and his 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 kids and his wife, and it's going to be really fantastic. Okay. So AC. So if someone wants to get a hold of you, how how do they get a hold of you? Okay. The best way to get a hold of me, you can call me direct on my cell phone. Is it's still my Lubbock number until we switch over to a McKenna number. It's 806-620-8683. Also, we can go to www.tbtgym.com. Again, www.tbtgym.com. Okay. Or you can send us an email at tbt at tbtgym.com. Oh, that's pretty easy. tbt easy. at tbtgym.com. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, so... Um, let me ask you a uh, question. If somebody wants to sign up today, do they? Uh, do you have a package that says, "Hey, listen, this is an early bird special"? Oh or, yeah. Uh, you know, early bird special. Um, will you? If someone wants to reach out to you and they say, "Hey, I would like to get take advantage of the early bird special," um, do you have a special program that you're going to be putting together for people who do that? Definitely. So for everything that we offer in the gym right now, for all the programs, barbell toning, barbell strength. BJJ, striking, MMA, doesn't matter. You're gonna pay $990 for the first, tw the first 20 members, we will pay $990 for the program. With that, gonna come 12 sessions uh, of one hour with a trainer. And the BJJ program is unlimited. You're gonna come four to five times per week for one hour with the J. Okay, very cool. And you'll have, you'll have all that information in the email, the brochure, yes. whatever they get. Okay, that is so cool, guys. Like, so he's got an early bird special right now. He's selling memberships right now. So take advantage of the, the savings. Take advantage of the offer. Um, this is going to be an exciting addition to, 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 to McKinney area. Um, so you're off of what? This is... We are off uh, 75 North. And uh, White Avenue. White Avenue. The uh, physical address is 1434 North Central Expressway, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Perfect. Okay, guys, here, um, it doesn't get any better than this. I thought it was really important that um, AC and I uh, sat down and talked and that he did an introduction to, to the community and introduction to you guys. Uh, and so... Um, get out there if you're in this, if you're in the McKinney, Plano, Frisco, wherever you're at, and you're interested in getting some 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 hands-on, you know, um, training and really own what you know. This is the place to be. TBT Gym is is um, total body training is going to be the place to be, and I'm really excited for you, AC. Full exercise, full strength program, full self-defense program, nutrition, and the community base that you can get anywhere else in the in the United States right now. And the major thing, rewards for people that put the hard work in um, to get some money back on the investment they do on their health and fitness. Perfect. Well, AC, thank you so much for inviting us over to your place and, and to sitting down and talk with us, taking the time. I'm really excited for, for you know, the opportunities that lay ahead for you and I forecast some amazing things for you, man. Um, like I told you before, more is about we get behind people first, people we believe in, and then we get behind their business. So we start with the people that we, we know that are just, you know, they're going for it. And, 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 and more, we want people to see more, do more, and enjoy more in their community. And that's why, that's why we created this platform. And we also, we also do, we also create brand awareness, just like we're doing right now with, with uh, Total Body Training. And I just want to let you know, guys, if you're interested in, get, in getting some, some, 
some, some brand awareness for your business, you can contact us at morelivecasting at gmail.com or you can contact us directly at 214-923-0923. Guys, we love you. As always, have peace and the light in you. Perfect. Nice, bro. Thank you, Thank brother. You, man.